Hi everyone, I'm Hai Dong Zhu from University of Southern California. We're happy to present our work entitled Gait Recognition Using 3D Human Body Shape Inference. We begin with the definition of the gait recognition. Gait recognition is to identify the individuals based on their walking patterns. We show three examples provided by open gait. Compared with other biometrics, gait has the advantage of being observed from the distance and does not require the active cooperation of the subject. Since gait recognition focuses on the finalized image of the human boundary, the main challenges are the variants of the 2D silhouettes with different camera viewpoints, clothing, and carry down objects. Consider such variants of the silhouette appearance are from 2D images, while the general 3D body shape of the same person is consistent. We introduce using the 3D body shape for gait recognition methods to avoid these appearance variations. However, existing 3D body shape reconstruction methods can only be applied on RGB images. We propose knowledge distillation and transferring such body shape prior from the RGB images to the silhouette sequence in this work. We present our methods with two feature extraction branches for silhouette and RGB images, respectively. RGB feature extraction branch is only used during training when the corresponding image of the person is available. For gate feature extraction, we introduce two encoders, one for silhouette feature extraction to identify the person, while the other one is to extract the body shapes from the sequential silhouettes. For silhouette feature encoder, we apply four different state-of-the-art gate methods for comparison, gate set, gate part, GLN, and gate tier, and works as our baseline method. In addition, after combining the silhouette features with the body shape features, we use the identification loss, LID, for direct supervision of the person's identity. For body shape feature encoder, we combine multiple silhouettes to one body shape feature. We use temporal shift module for combining different frames after temporal pulling. Since the same person in the sequence are consistent with their body shapes, such method is useful for finding one representation for the person's body. Due to the lack of the ground truth for 3D body shapes in the silhouettes, we sampled one RGB images from the sequence and applied Simplify as our body shape reconstruction method. We used the body shape feature, beta, as the supervision for knowledge with CRD, which is annotated as LKD here. In this way, even with only a batch of the RGB images, we can still transfer such 3D human body shape knowledge to the silhouette branch and reconstruct the 3D body shape of the whole sequence. We balance the LKD with the identification loss, LID, by using one for their weights, taking our ablation results into consideration. We apply our methods on two public gate recognition datasets, Tasia B and OUMVLP. Tasia B has 124 subjects with 110 videos for each subject. For OUMVLP, we have around 10,000 subjects with 28 videos for each subject. For evaluation, we use rank 1 accuracy for finding the queried subjects in the gallery as our metrics for both datasets. We first present our result on Tasia B where we applied our method with baseline method on three different splits. With knowledge prior from the 3D body shapes, our methods have consistent improvement compared with the baseline method. We also present our results on OUMBLP with different camera viewpoint. Since OUMBLP does not provide RGB images, we freeze the body shape encoder in the silhouette branch after we trained with limited RGB images from Cassia B data and our method still shows consistent improvement. That's our presentation for our work. Thank you so much for listening.